All of us have something to hide on Android, be it media files, our apps, our GPS location, or sometimes it's ourselves to get around a restricted network like college or office Wi-Fi. So here is the master guide to hide or trick almost everything on Android. It's basically a collection of nifty little techniques that can be handy in not so handy situations. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before that, I'm your host HK. Welcome back to the Android Guy. Taking trips cuz I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart and they say you're going aim for your head. All right folks, so let's start with number 1. How to hide apps on Android. Folks, do you know that there is a simple technique that you can use to easily hide stock Android apps. Applications like phone, gallery, play store, messages, contacts and etc. without having to install another app. Start by heading over to the Android settings. Then open up the option that says apps. Then head over to the stock app that you want to hide from the list of applications that came pre-installed on your device. Then very carefully tap on the disable button and you're done. That should pretty much hide the app from the app drawer just like that. And it does work with all stock applications like contacts, messages and camera as well. And if you want to unhide that or access it again, simply enable the app from the same place. As simple as that. You can further protect the option by putting a password on the settings app of Android. Easy and secure. However, for hiding third party apps that you install from Play Store, you will have to install a third party application or a third party launcher like Nova or EV Launcher. Not recommended though, but hell, <laughs> what else you can do? And with that, we come to the most important part of this video that is how to hide or mock your location. Now folks, having the ability to mock your location can be very useful in cases when say you want to book a cab to another location, to use location specific services like Pokemon Go or Tinder or to simply hide your actual location from someone or from some app that for some reason needs GPS to work. You can start by heading over to Android settings, then scroll all the way down to about devices. Once you find that, tap on it and find the option that says build number. And once you find that, tap on it for at least five to seven times. Once that is done, simply head back and you will find a new option called the developers option. Go ahead and open that. If it is not enabled, make sure to enable it first. Once that is done, simply scroll down and enable the option that says mock location. If you are on a newer version of Android like I am, then you will have to select the mock location app first. So let's head over to the Play Store and quickly install a mock location app. Now folks, all of these apps that you see over here are more or less the same. So I'm going to go with this app right here. So folks, once it's installed, head back to the developers option. Select the app under the mock location option. But before you go ahead and start faking your location, make sure to head over to the location section under the Android settings and make sure that it's set to GPS, not in network or battery saving modes. Back to the mock location app, it's pretty simple to use. You can pinpoint anywhere on this map right here and hit on the start button down there and boom, the Android system and all other applications that's on your device that uses GPS will think that you are at that location, even Google Maps. It's pretty handy under situations in say you are sharing a location and the GPS is off a few meters from your actual location. In those cases, you can use this service to pinpoint your exact location. And with that, we move to number two, hiding files on Android. Now folks, this method should work with pretty much any type of file on Android, be it photos, media or important documents. You can start by heading over to your device stock file manager. If you don't have one, we recommend the ES file explorer. Then navigate over to the file that you want to hide. I'm going to be hiding my downloads folder that's right there. 
and simply rename it by adding a full stop or dot before the name of the file and just like magic it disappears and if it's a folder like in this case it will hide everything that's inside the folder and what that means is other android apps can no longer access the specific file or the contents of the hidden folder and in order to unhide that simply open up the file manager options and tap on the option that says show hidden files or something similar on the es file explorer it's under the display settings and if you want to completely unhide or say make the content accessible again you can do that by simply removing the full stop one little trick that you can use is by renaming the hidden folder into something boring like say dot sim data or i don't know dot system data so folks even if you forget to hide the folder it will pretty much get mixed up with other hidden android folders pretty safe and with that we come to something most android users know about but they don't use it that's vpn so folks do you know that all the internet flowing in and out of your device is not filtered yep all your personal data all your information location transaction details and everything that's going in and out of your device is not protected for anyone to intercept and that can literally lead back to your address by installing a VPN, you're basically adding a filter on your internet connection. VPN usually filters out your location and other traceable information which can lead back to you. And that makes it possible to access otherwise blocked websites and applications and services. So say if you are unable to access a certain website or if you are in your office and cannot even get on Facebook or YouTube, try VPN. So yup, that's pretty much it. If you folks like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more exciting videos like this one, do subscribe to The Android Guy. So I'm your host HK with The Android Guy signing out and you folks have a nice day. Peace. Taking trips cuz I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart and they say you're going